The chi-squared test of independence can be done on a TI calculator just like the chi-squared test of homogeneity can be done on the TI calculator. Let's do a test of independence using the TI calculator. Here's the problem. Suppose you are interested in knowing whether income class, low, middle, or high, is independent of gender in your home state. You take a random sample of 1,000 people from your state and you determine their gender and their income level for each individual. You put the data into a two-way table and then the question you ask is, is income level independent of gender in your home state? This question can be answered using the chi-squared test of independence. The null hypothesis is that income level and gender are independent and the alternative is that they are not independent or they are associated. To do this on the, this test on the calculator, the only thing you need to do is you need to enter this observed cell frequency into a matrix. So let's put that into the calculator now. Let's put it into matrix A. Here we have a 2 by 3 matrix and it is identical to the two-way table that we have for our problem. We have 104, 345, and 25 males in each category. We have 225, 290, and 11 females in each of our categories. We're now ready to run the test. So let's go to STAT, over to Tests, down to Chi-squared Test, hit Enter. The only thing we need is the observed cell frequency counts in matrix A. The calculator will calculate the expected cell frequencies and put those numbers into matrix B. So let's run the test. The test gives us the chi-squared test statistic value. It is 52.1 for this problem. The p-value is 4.7 times 10 to the negative 12 extremely small p-value and it, the test also gives us the degree of freedom for our chi-squared test statistic. In order to know whether we can use this test we need to look at the expected cell frequency table. To do that we need to go to matrix B Matrix B holds the expected cell frequency counts. As long as every expected cell frequency is greater than 1 and no more than 20% or less than 5, we can use the chi-squared test of independence. It, it is valid to use it in this problem because every expected cell frequency count is greater than 5. So let's go back to the previous screen. We have a p-value that is extremely small it would be almost impossible to have the observed two-way table if the two variables income, class, and gender were independent. Because of the small p-value, we reject the null hypothesis and we say that income and gender class are not independent and our chi-squared test is complete.